Before you jump into the video, let me quickly tell you about our math video game called Mage Math and all the other cool activities on our website. Mage Math is a full video game that will help your child become more confident in math and have fun at the same time. On the website we have all our math videos, math worksheets, virtual math escape rooms, math mysteries, and more learning activities. You can find the game and all our amazing website content at magemath.com. There will be a link in the description as well. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids. Hey there, I am here at the Comparing Decimals Ice Rink today. I thought it would be good to play some hockey and Gig is joining me. The problem is that Gig is playing a little too rough. Maybe hockey is not my thing. Well, either way, let's learn about comparing decimals and play some hockey. Ouch, Gig, not so rough. In this lesson, we will compare two decimal numbers and determine which one is greater than, less than, or equal to. Let's take a look at our first problem. Let's compare the decimals 13 and 119 thousandths and 13 and 212 thousandths. Notice both decimal numbers have the same whole number parts, 13. In this case, we only need to focus on comparing just their decimal numbers. So let's put our numbers into place value houses, and we can better understand each digit this way. Both decimal parts have three place values, which we call thousandths, and we can rewrite them as fractions just as they sound. 119 thousandths is the decimal 0.119 and 212 thousandths is the decimal 0.212. The first fraction means we have 119 parts out of 1,000 total parts, or we say 1,000 as the whole. And the second fraction means we have 212 parts out of 1,000 total parts. Which fraction has less parts to the whole? That's right. 119 thousandths has less parts than 212 thousandths. Let's put the appropriate symbol in between the original numbers. We found that 13 and 119 thousandths is less than 13 and 212 thousandths. Just in case you forget which direction the symbol faces, always have the open part towards the larger number. Think of it as a hungry, hungry alligator that likes to eat large numbers. Very good. Let's try another problem. Compare the decimals 10 and 79 hundredths to 10 and 789 thousandths. We're going to be using the greater than, less than, or equal to signs. Notice how both numbers have the same whole number parts, 10. When these numbers are the same, we only need to focus on the decimal parts. Let's put our numbers into place value houses. When we compare decimals, they need to have the same number of place values. So let's write 79 hundredths as 790 thousandths by adding a zero to the end. Remember that decimals are just another way to write fractions. 0 0.790 is the same as 790 one thousandths, and 0.789 is the same as 789 one thousandths. Look at the numerators. Which one is larger? The fraction with the larger numerator means that that fraction has more parts to the whole. Since 790 is more than 789, the fraction 790 one thousandths is greater than 789 one thousandths. Or we can say 0.790 is greater than 0.789. 
we can go back to our original problem and write the greater than symbol between the two decimal numbers. Remember, the symbol always opens to the larger number. Let's try one more problem. Compare the decimals 3 and 200 thousandths to 3 and 2 tenths. We want to determine which one is greater than, less than, or equal to. Once again, our whole numbers are equal, so we only need to focus on the decimal parts. Let's put our numbers into place value houses once again. To compare decimal numbers, we need them to have the same number of place values. Let's add zeros to our second number, so both numbers have the same place value of thousandths. This is interesting. What do you notice about these decimal numbers? That's right, they're the same or equal. That means 3 and 200 thousandths is equal to 3 and 2 tenths. Great job! That was a tough match and gig won, but at least I have a break now. Thanks for comparing decimals with me today. You guys are incredibly smart and amazing. Gig, gig, we are done playing. No, no, gig, ouch. Thank you for watching the video. To support me in making more videos, please check out my game Mage Math and the other cool content on my website. I know you will love the game and all the other fun activities for your kids. Please share the link below with teachers and friends. Your support helps me make more fun content for kids.